Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over Kariki. It's a new firmware that's been ported over to the RG35XX by Acme Plus. So Acme Plus is the, the developer behind the Batacera for this device as well. So uh, Kariki was, now I, I say that it's a port because Kariki was originally developed for the Miu Mini uh, by our Paradise team. So they originally did that to bring the simple menu front end uh, to the Miu Mini. So now you can actually use that same front end here on the uh, on this device. So the thing about that particular, uh, that, that front end simple menu is that uh, it looks cool. It's just, it's a nice looking front end. As you can tell, it looks something that it, like it's coming out of the, uh, the emulation station playbook, right? It has really nice uh, covers, background images. It's uh, easy to navigate. Uh, it's organized well, and it keeps your stuff together really nice and easy. Uh, it's not overly complicated. You don't have a lot of different options to choose from in terms of like the way it looks or your interface. Um, there are themes available that you can try different themes and you can tweak things yourself. So like in this particular case, I'm showing like Neo Geo. So those cover arts uh, or the covers that I'm using are, are straight from the Arcade Stick Pro and the MVSX. So the work that was done there, I'm just, I just brought those images over and, and I'm using those. Um, the, the really cool thing though, is that the work that was done on Batacera is still carried over to this firmware. And specifically what I'm talking about is all the cool systems that you can't play on other firmwares. Uh, so like PSP, Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, uh, Nintendo DS, all of those systems are still, uh, you're still able to try out and, and play games on, on this firmware too, which is really cool. Um, and it does use like RetroArch as the as the you know in the background, but it also has standalone emulators like Flycast and uh, Drastic, which is a, a DS uh, emulator. So there's a lot of cool features uh, all packed into this this little uh, firmware uh, that it's really worth trying out. So here I'm just kind of demonstrating that you can actually select your core before you launch your game, and that all I did was hit select. On that particular game so if you're having if you're running into like a difficult game or a game that's not running so well uh, you can try different cores and and you know if it's not working the way you should you'd like for it to try another core launch it check it out and it'll save that setting it should it should save that setting. I haven't dug you know taken a deep dive into all that save states and all that sort of stuff don't I mean I don't really know how all that works but I do know that when I've exited the uh, firmware and come back, it takes me right back to where I it left off. So like if I was in Neo Geo on Last Resort, and after I shut down um, and I turn it back on, it'll bring me back to Neo Geo on Last Resort. So like the last position that I was in in the firmware, it'll actually remember that, which is really cool. It does have shutdown capability. It does have charging capabilities. All that stuff is in there too. Um, but I would, you know, one of the things that I'd really, uh, I'd kind of like to, push on you guys is just to to invest in some micro sd cards they're really cheap um i think I, I have a four pack is it a four pack or a two pack i don't know i'm gonna leave a link on to the ones that i get they're the from micro center but that's all i've been using uh so that you don't have to worry about you know copying over your garlic card or your stock card just get some more sd cards they're cheap i mean 10 bucks you can get a couple of 64 gigabyte cards i think it's a two pack um if not, it's a, yeah, it's a, I think it's a two pack. Anyway, get some cards, burn this stuff on there, try them out, experiment, play around. Um, again, like this card might be the one that you just load up with your PSP, you know, Nintendo DS and N64 stuff, you know. Um, but, oh, also I'm using a second SD card here and um, I formatted it FAT32. So it should, uh, you know, you should be able to access it from your device, from your computer, from you know, the Mac, whatever and load up, you know, your ROMs and uh, fill it all up with, with, with uh, what you want. And uh, it just, it works really well. But again, it's a, it's a new firmware. It's available. I'm going to leave links in the description to it so you can try it out. All you do is just burn it on your card, you know, load it up. And then uh, once you've done that, it'll populate the folders and all that that you need to fill it with, uh, with your games. Um, but again, this is yet just another... Uh, another firmware. Now, the cool thing, if you're listening to this and you're not just about RG35, but you follow my channel, uh, this is something that could potentially, or I think is in the works of being ported over to the uh, Arcade Stick Pro and the MVSX in the future. But uh, anyways, check out the description. Hope you enjoyed the video, but go out and try it, man. Check it out.